And welcome back, everyone. And uh, by popular request and voting, I am going to restart up the death battle reactions. And what better way to start, technically, what better way to start would be to um, start with the beginning of the new season. But in this case, no, I mean, the people who wanted me to do it, I suggested I do it for the Gogeta versus Vegeta one. So here we are. Now, as you can see, it does look a little odd. I will fix this momentarily. Um, I'm, again, I'm not, uh, I'm just not a expert in terms of tech abilities or anything like that. I am, I do, I did get some, I got, well, I got something for Christmas that is going to pave the way for something else I'll do on the channel that I'm actually looking forward to doing. It's going to take some practice and whatnot. Uh, I am in process. I do have a video camera I got for Christmas a few years back. I just never got around to putting a SIM card to it. And even then, except for movie reviews and maybe this, I don't see me using the video camera very much. And I, I know that's going to piss a few people off, but, and I mean, particularly my friends, but I have to just look. It, after a while, it gets to the point where you trying to help me out is just you trying to make my content better for you, not me. And it does start to get irritating. And I don't mean, I don't mean it starts to wear it. I mean, it actually starts to irritate me after all. Like, I get it. Okay. But you know what? It's now sounding like you want it more for you than me. Uh, so, but I, I've got stuff coming down the line to help improve the channel overall. But for right now, we're working on what we got. And um, I remember, I can't remember who I said would win in my, I should have checked prior to this, my uh, prediction. I think I was going towards Vor the G uh, Gogeta just because they, uh, there's more feats for v Gogeta overall. Gogeta's actually shown up more times in, well... Unless you're counting Legends, in which case then... Not Legends, sorry. Heroes. In which case then everything is kind of evened out. Uh, but Gogeta has more overall wins, technically. And uh, Vegeta has shown uh, uh, overall greater power. However, there is one caveat... Before we begin the actual fight, um, there is one caveat I would like to put in there. And that is... And I'm actually just going to ex uh, expand the window now. Um, caveat this is, not, is that I'm wondering... What the... There we go. Jeez. Delayed. Uh, I'm wondering if they are going to bring up the time limit on both these guys. I assume they have to because that is part of the fusion. But what I mean by that is that could actually be a deciding factor in this fight. The fact that, by all accounts, you, we know that Vegeta and Goku defused and still had the Patara on and they didn't refuse. But my guess is if you just took it off and put the earrings back on, you just refuse. Whereas there's a cooldown time... Uh, for the fusion dance. So I'm wondering if that might be how they ultimately decide this. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm trying to keep the volume low uh, so I don't get like copyright. Man, these things are so easy to find nowadays. <laughs> yes, now with this ultimate power, I can finally I'll turn up a little bit. Go Gogeta wow. fight Vegito! <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on! It's the ultimate Dragon Ball question! Which uh, version of I, Goku and Vegeta is Dragon stronger? Gogeta, if it's not the ultimate Dragon Legends, Ball question, it's definitely in the top the five. Who surpassed gods. Intriguing. They are in many ways identical. They're basically, yeah, I mean, this, I am just wondering how this fight is really going to look. A total of three brief appearances. To truly determine who would win, let's examine all of their material. Oh, so Z, well, we're going GT, all Super material now. Movies, okay. Games. Guidebooks, guide toys, okay. Twitter, even all the crazy Xenoverse right, gonna... and hero stuff. Hold on to your dragon. Oh, they're going, they're going balls. Z okay, if that's the case, they're going all out in this. I've got no answer for this. I'm going to lean towards Vegito because of the time battle. Because of the damn uh, earrings. That's it. That's all I've got on me. I like Gogeta. Imagine battles. it's 1995 and you're at a movie theater in Japan. You're there Spider Man to goes Dragon to see Ball Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn. And it's going to be the most <laughs> radical movie actually, like, ever, dude. Because honestly, I mean, yeah, it was a little weird. Yeah, a little when blonde kid showed up. Undead what? 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 That's just the 90s. Goku Come on. And Vegeta were pushed to the brink with only one option left. I he will admit, it is kind of hilarious power. that Goku and Vegeta Go got it in two tries where it took um, Trunks and Goten forever just to get the pose down. Yep. You peaked at eight. Fun fact, while <laughs> Vegeta had already eight. debuted in the manga two months earlier, Gogeta was created first. Of course, After because all, if you designed a fusion of uh, previous go tanks, two it's a, it would make sense you to design that first. Let's see, a fusion, the son of a fusion, one epic powerhouse, this is the true potential of Goku and Vegeta, easily a top five Dragon Ball moment. Hey, 
Nothing beats the first time we saw Super Saiyan, but, but I think this comes close. This method of fusion was taught to Goku by the Metamorans, a mysterious alien people who we never actually see. Nope. But I'd guess they like wearing crop tops with inflatable shoulder pads. Anyway, I do actually kind of like it. was always an interesting outfit. Can you Trump's imagine that those two would actually fuse? It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. This is the I fusion dance. What? <laughs> On top of an incredibly precise movement routine, this technique requires both parties to match power levels in order to fuse successfully. I also think that's going to play a factor, the phrase, because with Potara, the Potara you don't have to match to your power up. levels. Trust me. But if you nail it, you're the baddest mother ever on the planet. Though not part of mainline canon, Goku and Vegeta first use this to battle Janemba, a demon basically composed of essence of evil. Probably smells like cats. Gogeta mm. defeated him in less than two minutes. 20 years later, Gogeta would become canon to conquer Go! one of the most dangerous Go! Oh, you better. Oh, I hope they have the, his. Uh... Really? Obviously, yeah, Gogeta's I hope they have his uh, in music in here. But I think his most underappreciated skill is how he comes up with awesome attack names. <laughs> like the Big Bang Kamehameha, yeah, yeah. Stardust God Fall, Punisher, Meteor Explosion, Punisher and Stardust the Ultimate Breaker. Villain Killer, Stardust Breaker. A fancy looking Stardust attack Fall. that completely that obliterates is. all traces of evil within a target. Okay, so, so that's not going to do anything with shot. Vegeta. The guy was literally made of evil. Or cats. Weirdly enough, <laughs> this is similar to Devil Man's Devil Might Be, which causes the evil within a person to explode and- Oh, you mean Spike? That guy's hilarious! Which obscure character are you gonna reference next? <laughs> Icarus? Aww. Sour Man? General Rildo? Oh, God, oh man, that guy's just one letter up from General Dill. <laughs> Over the <laughs> years, Gogeta has achieved the empowered forms of Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, and even Super Saiyan 4 in his battle against Omega Shenron. Super Saiyan 4 is a totally unique branch of transformation. Yeah. Instead of using Divine Key like Super Saiyan God, it taps further into Goku and Vegeta's mm -hmm. Saiyan bloodline, yeah. giving them fuzzy red fur and Look, I God. I like, Goku has also claimed this like a lot of people, I'm Saiyan's not a big GT fan, but I always oh, loved Super Saiyan with Gogeta. Before. He basically becomes Dragon Ball's Bugs Bunny, reveling and messing around with his foe <laughs> any way he can. Until the fusion runs out. Yeah. That's right, the fusion dance has a time limit. I also loved Gogeta's Super this Saiyan 4 Gogeta design. It was just Gogeta unique. uses up a lot of energy. Against Omega Shenron and GT, he's split apart after about 10 minutes. Just more evidence that the amount of power Gogeta possesses is enormous. Even repeatedly striking Broly so hard that the boundaries between dimensions mm. shattered like glass wasn't enough to burn through his time. Hell, he was only in Super Saiyan 1 when he did that. After going blue, Broly didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. Based on earlier in the film, Whis's reaction even implies that Gogeta could possibly take on Beerus. In Dragon yep. Ball Heroes, Gogeta continues to prove he's one of the multiverse's S-tier fighters. See, I don't play attention to Heroes, so I didn't even know that Super Gogeta Saiyan even Rose showed up. Full power Goku Black and Ultimate God Slayer Hearts the God Hater. You, you know, those guys. <laughs> and two Gogetas together could take on Fu. Just, just, just Fu? After all that, <laughs> he just called Fu? Dark King Fu, the artificial bio-android demon mutant. He has Saiyan, Namekian, Earthling, Majin, and Eternal Dragon DNA. Oh, jeez. Is this fan fiction? Parts the god body <laughs> claim Fu could become kind an of. entity akin to Zeno. That oh, Jesus. Baby who can erase a multiverse with a thought. But these Gogetas achieved even stronger forms than before. One was in Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, the boosted form Vegeta achieved during the Tournament of Power. The other was Super Saiyan 4, but not just any Super Saiyan 4. He was Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker. Ah. Explain that one, please. Twisted now. These two forms fighting side by side implies that, at least in this iteration, both are similar, if not equal, in power. Yeah, no, I mean, Gita's I'm so guessing cool. that's God. Yeah, they are tons like, of what I do in the fan fix are the fan fix, what ifs, where it's, where it's um, you know, Super Saiyan God Primal. That's kind of what I'm Goku yeah. and Vegeta spirits and draw out their power to the max. As long as a fight with Vegito lasts less than 30 minutes, the magazine says Gogeta should win. And then in the video game Raging Blast, there's a what-if scenario where Gogeta beats Vegito in a sparring session. But he was about to run out of energy, so maybe it ah. would have gone either way. Though with his power and skill, it's unlikely any opponent I wonder if they're Gogeta actually going to go into the multiplayer for the Two of the, the greatest Gogeta warriors days. in history merge together as one. What more could you want as a fan, and what more could you fear as a foe? Go!
Gogeta! It's the spring of 1995. All right, I mean, when you hear that, you see some of the evidence. Has threatened to it would imply the that Gogeta Goku should Vegeta take this win. Barely, but it implies he should take this win. But let's see what Vegito brings to the table, and, and I'll give my final thought for the uh, match goes. Does this sound familiar? But there wasn't time to teach Vegeta an awkward dance routine he'd ultimately <laughs> despise. Instead, they used the Patara. Only the gods themselves could rock bling like this. Potara. That's right, the Patara earrings come from the Kais, the gods the that supervise the universe. <laughs> By placing Why one earring on each person's together? opposite ear, the Patara forcibly fuses the two beings together, no power level matching required. Mm -hmm. In this case, Goku and Vegeta fuse to become Vegito. Okay, seriously, Vegito? Couldn't they have a better name? Eh, it's not that bad. And remember, Fusion Reborn started yeah. production well before Toriyama penned Vegito's first appearance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do I call dibs on the better name, huh? But still, shouldn't <laughs> it be like Vegiku? Not like that's much better either. Why Vegito? It makes more sense yeah. in Japanese. Vegito is formed from the first half of Vegeta and the latter half of Kakuroto. This is why Viz Media actually translated it to Vegerot. Oh, that one sucks too. Don't yeah. get bored now. Let's talk about how he blows shit up real good. Vegito has numerous techniques that are entirely his own, many of which are, fittingly, perfect combinations of Goku and Vegeta's mm. signature moves, such as the final Kamehameha, formed like Vegeta's final flash, but fired like Goku's Kamehameha way. He's got a spirit sword, <laughs> the Saiyan shield, and the Banshee blast. Which, no, it's not the ghost attack you're thinking of. With Goku yeah. and Vegeta's powers combined, Majin Buu was no match. Super Vegeta was so friggin' powerful that even being turned into candy, <laughs> candy Vegeta, it just that was made hilarious. Him delicious. His level of power had transcended to such an impressive degree that he was capable of effectively ignoring having his matter entirely altered and his DNA eradicated. <laughs> he continued on as the incredible fighting candy. No mouth, no brains, no organs of any kind, and he still kept <laughs> slapping around that big pink ass. Uh, phrasing. <laughs> Presumably, this is similar to how Vegeta overpowered Bobbidi's mind control, or how Goku broke through Hit's time skip with yep. Ken. A greater power level. One of the reasons. Basically, completely a a different subject. Does. I still will Though, always contend fair, Goku will beat Sailor Moon in the fight. Because I'm a friend of mine. Sam. Jeff, but, but <laughs> it was arguing it with me. I'm like, guy. yeah, For a lot of things that you're arguing don't matter. Or as they know, broken the crap out of merged Zamasu, a double deity. Like yep. a fusion dick measuring contest, <laughs> but not at all close. Though similar to his dancing counterpart, Vegito's time ran out after he overtaxed himself. Yep. Which was kind of weird. Assumed all Back time in the day, they said these Batara fusions were permanent. All Turns out it's speed. only permanent okay. for Supreme Kai's. Vegito's form can last up to one hour before splitting apart, but can be shortened severely if he goes full tilt. In the manga, Vegito formed after Zamasu fused mm -hmm. and split apart when they expected Fuse Zamasu to have 20 minutes left, meaning he cut his time down to 40 minutes at most. Though in the anime, it was way less since he tried to quickly overpower Zamasu with a single attack. Mm -hmm. The Patara have their own set of rules. Unlike the fusion dance, this form is maintained by the power of the earrings, not the fusers themselves. Oh yeah, the earrings As are broken. Such, destroying the yep. earrings ends the fusion. That's true. And if you true. slap the Patara on while in a Super Saiyan form, you can't power down while fused. So if Goku and Vegeta aren't careful, they can find themselves draining power when they don't need to. Good but point. surprise, Vegito's got into his own Super Dragon Ball Hero shenanigans, and he's got the full power red fur too. Look, Wiz, I think I'm having deja vu. Aside from <laughs> Fu, he's battled heavy hitting threats to the multiverse like Cumber and Mechikabara. And just like with Gogeta, there's plenty of people who think Vegeta would win this fight. Mm -hmm. Daisenshu's 4 and 7, basically two Dragon Ball encyclopedias, claim that the Patara fusion is superior to the fusion dance. Yep. Old Kai said this too, that the Patara provide a greater effect. Though yeah. they both may be referring to what was believed at the time to be a permanent fusion. Not having to worry about overspending your time limit would certainly be a greater effect if it were true. Sure. But hey, there's nothing that can get in the way of Vegito's awesome power. Gods and demons alike I like the are fact no that match. When there's no they haven't actually given thrown out the numbers. Day, They're probably going to do that in the analysis. I mean, throwing out numbers is, you know, this one show thing. Is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life can be overwhelming, and many uh, people on. are burned out without even knowing it. Where? Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. As a scientist myself, I've often been stuck in the lab into the late hours of the night okay, working myself what's going silly. On? Oh, come on. Burnout with are work, you fucking kidding me right now? 
any of our roles in life can lead to us feeling burnt out, and BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. BetterHelp no. is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat oh, sessions with your therapist, help. so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more affordable Try than in-person therapy, ah, and you this can is... be matched with a therapist. Sorry, my computer is now. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, do not do better this to me right now. Slash death battle. That's B -E not in the middle of a damn. Oh, H-E-L-P dot com really slash death battle. Well, I mean, okay. It's all right, the combatants are set. Thought. We've run the data through all possibilities. Hear my wish, Eternal Dragon. It's time for a death battle. Okay. That, that was weird. Sorry about that. It. Let's just. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. So, what, final thoughts. Yeah, that was weird. My the computer just did a weird thing on me. Um. So, final thoughts. I mean, we'll all know who won anyway. Um, mm, they fought the same individuals, more or less. Gogeta basically beat him in the spar in the video games, but it was razor thin. People implying that Vegeta will win. It's a superior fusion. Power output-wise, they're both right around Beerus level. The fusion could round out quicker for Gogeta. The Plutara could be destroyed for Vegito. And in theory, the earring, if the, even if the fight lasted long enough that both the fusions ran out, Vegito could just refuse. Oh, Gogeta's attacks don't all, wouldn't all affect him. I think I'm going to re I'm gonna my last guess for this uh, for the season finale. My final guess for this fight, Gogeta. I think. The, they're going to probably throw out actual calc after the, the actual fight, but uh, they didn't do any calc. They were more doing, like, scale measuring than anything else. So here we go. Okay, there we go. Shouldn't remain that powerful, guys. What is this madness? <laughs> Whoa, Vegeta! Am I really that much taller than you? Stop it, Kakarot! Oh, they got Lanny. Two, one, ah! <laughs> I do like the fact that because it's a Shenron wish, there's the reason for them fighting is probably just to be Doesn't have to be much build up to it. Good. Good animation, I'll give them that. I have a feeling this fight's gonna come down to what fusion breaks first. Not the Yeah. Not bad. Wanna kick it up a notch? Sure. But how about some variety? I know what's it further beyond. Little <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> This is where Gogeta might fuck up. Because he gets cocky in this storm. <laughs> He's fighting over the multiverse. My turn. I will admit, it gets a little difficult to figure out who's talking, given the nature of this whole Oh, nice. That's great. I don't know if I like that shot or dislike that shot because of the color contrast and the lighting. Hmm. <laughs> gotcha! Well, this isn't going to do anything to Vegito. Well, at least nothing in the stream when it says the attack. Guess it's now or never. That up. Uh, Alright. Doesn't do anything to him. <laughs> At 
Oh, all right. Ah, the fusion, it wasn't about with the fusion. Oh. <laughs> okay, I like that. I did. I do like that. Oh, screw it! I have to push you back. I should have stuck in my oh, first guess with Vegeta. Totally oh, worth well. the wish. Oh, I guess we probably could have solved a lot of world problems with that. Uh, I suppose world domination can wait another year. This fight <laughs> was incredibly close. No, seriously, how could it not be? They're almost exactly the yeah. same person. With a few minor differences yeah, here and there. Gogeta has more economical victories. Neither Vegito nor Gogeta had Equal one single power that provided an absolute probably edge over the other. Except perhaps Vegito's longer time limit, though it's not so clear-cut. Both have overtaxed their energy quick enough to end their fusions in less than 10 mm -hmm. minutes. Time isn't the only factor, but yep. also whatever is maintaining each fusion. Gogeta's body and Vegito's earrings. It's possible Vegito's power can actually drain the Patara faster than Maybe. Gogeta's does his own body. Still, it's twice the time, and that Don't definitely gave Vegito more flexibility and strategy. Here. So more often than not, it's safe to say Gogeta would run out of juice first. Also, yep. when Vegeta or Gogeta diffuse from power overuse, it's typically difficult for them to immediately fuse again due to that lack of energy. Yep. But Vegito had another one over Gogeta. No matter what, he'd always have a very slight power advantage. Remember how the fusion dance mm -hmm. requires the fusers to match their power levels? Well, the Patara don't need that. Goku doesn't need to match Vegeta's slightly lower power levels, so there's nothing <laughs> stopping Vegeta from combining the full sum of their parts. Ah, oh, poor Vegeta. You'll get your day in the sun one day, buddy. Oh, who am I kidding? This might be what Old Kai was referring to when he said the Patara had a greater effect. But hey, could Gogeta have destroyed the earrings? Nope, he would have had to be able to overpower Vegito first, True. like how Goku could only destroy Kefla's earrings after he reached Ultra Instinct. Remember, mm. when comparing levels of power in Dragon Ball, the greater one can overrule almost anything the weaker one yep. does. The earrings likely tend to be protected by the user's key aura, similar to their clothing. The only time we've ever seen Patara damaged or specifically targeted are when the wearer is overwhelmed or in a yep. vulnerable state. That if any sense. stray key blast could destroy them, we'd have a lot more broken earrings by now. Lastly, there's some debate over their personalities. In their first appearances, Vegito seemed rather cocky and playful against mm -hmm. Boo, whereas Gogeta was far more deliberate against Janemba, and thus far more successful. However, these are not core personality traits, and assuming so would be inconsistent with Vegito's serious fight with Zamasu and Gogeta's more brash fights with Broly and Omega Shenron. Yeah. Context is key. As far as personality and mental ability goes, Gogeta and Vegito are practically identical. In the end, Vegito's higher power level, no matter how slight it was, made a big difference in protecting and maintaining his longer, more flexible time limit. Gogeta was gonna need meta more than that to beat Vegito. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Wiz, I know that pun was potarable. Wait, shut up. Earth's Dragon Balls give two wishes, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, Shinron, I wish for you to fuse me and Wiz. The winner is Vegito. See what that fusion looks like? Thanks for watching, and doubly oh, thanks for our channel trailer members for, for supporting season? us this year. Hope you've been enjoying the extra perks and content. We've got a bunch of new stuff in the works for you. If you aren't a champion, click that join button and give it a shot. Also, Season 10 of Death Battle is coming soon, including two matchups chosen by our champions. Oh. Let's see what you picked. Oh. Bill Cypher versus Discord. And, of course, Alec Mercer and Prototype. Uh, and Bill, so we got Bill Cyber Discord, Altsworth and on uh, Colgrath coming soon. Okay, they didn't uh, give a date. Well, that is the uh, that was Gogeta versus Vegito. I honestly should have stuck with my guns on that one. I should have stuck with my guns with the Vegito one, but they were kind of amping Gogeta up a bit more. I guess I got two Death Bell predictions to do today, which I've done both those videos already in my um, in my who would win. I already have my. Um, I already have my my thoughts on there, but I'll get my brief thoughts I get then them again. Um, look, I, I, that is not like the top tier season finale fights I've ever seen. Goku versus Superman, even though it was lower quality, I think it was a better fight. Um, or some of the other ones we've had. Uh, I mean, well, I, honestly, I thought Gogeta, ver Gogeta uh, Broly versus Hulk was better. But I mean, this was still a good fight. It was still a good fight. Oh, Popeye versus Saitama. It was one of the best ones. I can't lie on that. But this was a good fight. It was. I, was, I enjoyed myself. The animation was clean. 
Like I said, the one shot of animation I had a little bit of an issue with was that um, shot. What was that? Starbreaker, where there was the giant laser beams coming down on Vegito. The lighting looked a little weird, but I think it was I think it was just the way that was designed. Either way, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I won't get... I'm not... I, I'll upload this later today. I won't lo upload it up immediately after the video. Um, but just because I want to try to avoid as much copyright as I can on this. And hopefully, I'll be able to do more videos down the line of this. If I start getting the copyright stuff again, though, uh, don't, don't count on it. But we'll see what happens. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you folks for the next one.